The Lord came to me last night. What did he say? He says we are to go to Mariah, you and I. And make a sacrifice to him there. It's one of the most controversial accounts in all scripture when the Lord tested Abraham by asking him to take his son, his only son, Isaac, whom he loved, and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on the mountains of Moriah. The Bible says it was a three-day journey to the place of the offering. What had to have been going through Abraham's mind, knowing that this son he had waited a quarter of a century for, whose birth was promised by God, it, this, this was his whole world he had to now lay upon the altar. For Abraham, that three-day walk must have felt like an eternity. Now for many, this passage from Genesis 22 has fueled much confusion or even contention toward God and His Word. And many believers are left without an answer for the scoffers. That's why I wanted to make this film. My name is David Helling, and I'm the creator of His Only Son. Since my time as a Marine in Iraq, where the Lord drew me to Himself and gave me a heart to love and understand His Word, my life's mission has been to illustrate and exposit the biblical narrative through film so that others can see what I saw, that these accounts we read in scripture are of real people who lived real lives in the real God's plan of redemption. So that in seeing these moments in history, they may hear the gospel, and in hearing, they may believe, and in believing, they may have life in his name. I spent nearly a decade endeavoring to do this through short films, but for the last five years, I poured my life into this feature film his only son. With all the writing, casting, sewing costumes, scouting locations, directing and editing, and spending much of the COVID era building miniatures and squirreling away at the over 325 visual effects shots, it is often felt like this day would never come. Yet here we are, the film is done. Far later than I imagined, but all according to the Lord's perfect timing. And now, Upon seeing his only son, Angel Studios, the distributor that brought you The Chosen, thought this film would be best experienced on the big screen in a wide, theatrical Easter release. That's still hard to believe. But beyond their plans for this film, the Angel model is a true blessing because unlike Hollywood and the typical studio distribution system, Angel's intent is to keep creative control fully in the hands of the creator. So that means his only son will go out into the world with a message untarnished or manipulated by agenda or profit-driven executives. And the message of this film is already making ways with those who've seen it. Some of the reviews include, this film needs to be seen and soon. Masterpiece, one of the best executed films in every aspect I've watched in a long time. Very powerful and perfectly portrayed. The producers have made it more than just the story of Abraham. They have cleverly weaved the gospel into its fabric. And this film is the chosen meets the passion. However, for us to get this film into theaters, we're going to need your help. You see, a typical theatrical release brings with it the needs of logistics and marketing. This is known in the industry as P&A, or prints and advertising. Every social media ad, TV commercial, poster, billboard, and many TV interviews cost money. And Hollywood is filled with investors who make a living funding the P&A needs of filmmakers for a 20% return on investment. In true Angel Studios fashion, we thought it best to open the opportunity to viewers like you and give you a chance to be a P&A investor. This is unlike a typical pre-production investment, which could take years to see a return on. No. P&A investment is the last money in, first money out, after the theaters take their percentage. This means that you could see your return on investment in as little as 60 days after the film's release. Go to angel.com son to express interest. I can't wait for you to experience His Only Son together with your friends and family this Easter. But my hope is that it doesn't end there. If the Lord wills, I pray this film leads to another and another and another. Working chronologically through the Old Testament, experiencing the building anticipation to the ultimate crescendo in Christ. 
years and years worth of biblical films on the big screen. That can make for a pretty great Easter time tradition. But finally, we must remember that ultimately, this is a spiritual battle for eternal impact. So please, commit to praying for us. Pray for this film and pray for the hearts of those who will see it. And to God alone be the glory. What are you doing, Abraham? All this commotion, so early. Abraham. The Lord came to me last night. What? He says we are to go to Moriah, you and I, and make a sacrifice to him there. Make sure no harm comes to our son. Since we first entered this land decades ago, I have seen the bonds and protection the living God has placed around you. He has promised to make of me a great name, a great nation. We haven't even a son. We will. How long have we tried? Why is the Lord having you trek all this way for a sacrifice? I will not stand in your way. You're not standing in the way. You're standing by my side. You're my wife. We must cling to our faith. If all your hopes were dashed upon the rocks and all that you loved was lost, would your faith still stand? 